Hello, my name is Dushan Baran and I work at the Department of Distributed Computing at CESnet. We are participating in multiple projects like Giant and EOSGAP, where we develop tools to enable federated access to cloud resources and improve user experience when using the federation. One of the challenges we have to face is to make tools used by scientists and researchers avail available to EGI federated cloud. This means to distribute cloud images containing these tools across all sites. But synchronizing images manually can be a tedious task. That is why we developed CloudKeeper. CloudKeeper is a tool used to synchronize appliances across DJI Federated Cloud to a variety of cloud management frameworks. CloudKeeper is divided into two parts, controller application called CloudKeeper and a backend service. CloudKeeper has support for multiple cloud management frameworks such as OpenNebula or OpenStack. Now, each of these backend services communicates directly with the specific cloud management framework. Both of these cloud management frameworks are used to operate private or community clouds. But there are many scenarios, for example cloud bursting, when use of public cloud is also relevant. That is why I would like to introduce our newest addition to CloudKeeper project, CloudKeeper AWS. CloudKeeper AWS is the newest backend service that allows CloudKeeper to synchronize appliances to Amazon Web Services. Let's have a look at how CloudKeeper with CloudKeeper AWS works. First, we need to start CloudKeeper AWS. CloudKeeper AWS uses credentials from AWS configuration file or from environment variables. Flag progress tells CloudKeeper AWS to show image upload progress. Once CloudKeeper AWS has started, we can execute synchronization process by executing CloudKeeper. For this example, we are using an image list for organization D4 Science which contains tools for their virtual research environment. First step in appliance synchronization is to download and parse image list. Afterwards, CloudKeeper detects differences between appliances in cloud and appliances in image list. CloudKeeper then handles all changes either by uploading new images, deleting old ones, or modifying existing images. In our example, CloudKeeper downloads an image and passes it to the backend service, that is, CloudKeeper AWS. Next, CloudKeeper AWS uploads this image into AWS. After successful upload, all images are tagged to keep metadata for further synchronization. We can see newly uploaded images in the AWS console with proper names. This image can now be used to create a virtual machine instance. To make deployment of our solution easier, we made CloudKeeper and all its backends available as RubyGems or Docker images. We hope you find the new CloudKeeper AWS helpful. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.